Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. It is Ray. I am here with your February 2022 predictions. Um, your energy is intense and I'm going to pray before getting into it. So let us pray. God, source, angels, ancestors, God's universe, please use me to guide Scorpios on their February 2022 monthly predictions. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel and a clear vessel. Gratitude, Ashe. Scorpio, are y'all okay? Y'all need a hug. You need a hug and I want to give you a hug. Several things. This reading, the what I'm about to... What I'm about to channel for you, I feel like is your right now energy for whenever you watch this. Um, I feel like the month of February is asking you to have hope and have faith. Um, something happened in Capricorn season for you or when the nodes shifted to Taurus and Scorpio, life started to change for you. I feel like you have this free fall energy, this energy of wanting to give a fuck but not really not really giving a fuck um the energy of temptation the energy of wanting to reel something in like reel something in like a fish like trying to catch a fish and reeling it in but it's like you keep trying to catch the fish and you can't catch the fish so every time you bring the um what the fuck is that called the thing that the fish the fish thing, fish hook back to you, it's empty. All right, a lot of you are really like fucking over a lot of shit right now. Um, you are the fifth sign that I'm doing. And when I took my phone off the charger to record this, it was at 41%, four plus one is five. So 555 five, five is heavy for you right now or starting off the month of February. I feel like this energy that you, you're in isn't going to last the entire month of February and I hear trouble doesn't last always so you have nothing to worry about but with the south node moving in the sign of Scorpio um, if you have any Scorpio placement someone rising Venus north node south node Mercury Mars wh wherever you have a major placement in south node it's really being affected with this south node transiting during um, I'm sorry transiting in the sign of Scorpio during the time of the north node being in taurus so taurus is the opposite of scorpio so there's a need for you to be more grounded a need for you to be not as emotional um a lot of things are out of your control right now so you are overindulging in what you can control some of you are excessively cleaning some of you are excessively working out some of you are really 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 trying to grasp control trying to grasp control you are a fixed sign scorpio so um you're being asked to be more mutable to be more transparent to there's some things that you're incorporating in your life that you need to detach from there's some memories that need to be deleted from your phone there's some ways of being ways of thinking ways of analyzing that needs to be released and transformed um Yeah, I'm getting, you're getting tower moment after tower moment and you're really fucking over it. Some of you are overindulging in health. Um, but so yeah, this reading is going to cover, the first card will be your overall theme for the month of February. I feel like even though the channel energy was like that, I feel like the month of February is going to unfold differently. And then we're going to look at the four weeks of February tie it together and any other messages that may come up there's a need to be very very mindful of your energetic vibration the more you vibrate low the more you are susceptible susceptible to being sick okay a lot of you need to t um get elderberry or take more elderberry in the month of february um, you need to drink your water. You need to hydrate. You need to take care of the body. The body is being affected by your emotions in a negative way, Scorpio. A lot of past life energy is coming up. Tests that you thought that you were over with are coming up. Again, South Node energy is past life energy, things that you thought you've overcame. There needs to be a, a new way of being for you in some type of way, Scorpio. And that's going to take off for you in the month of February.
All right, let's get into it. Spirit, source, angels, ancestors, guides, been praying again. So this is a time to really go within, to meditate more. Some of you need to connect with the Leo. I did Leo before you, a high vibrational Leo to give you some guidance and you need to listen. Whatever this is, Leo is fixed as well, but whoever this high vibrational being is, they have ascended whatever you're currently going through and you really need to listen and take their advice and take their wisdom. Um, overall energy for Scorpio in the month of February, Spirit, please. We have change. <laughs> Five energy change. Underneath change is pleasure. I was not going to keep pleasure, but spirit is telling me to keep it. So I'm going to keep it. So these changes that are happening are leading to more pleasure in your life. And you're probably like, whatever, like shit is not good. Like you have this energy of someone is trying to pour hope and faith to, into you. Shit, you could be listening to me. I'm a Leo. But someone is trying to give you a sense of light give you a sense of hope um i have a cancer calling me so someone is trying to expand your emotions op open up your emotions you may be connecting with a cancer um in the month of february and then the phone fell when i said that so you may need to detract from from a cancer or cancer is is causing detractions in your life if you don't know what detractions mean look it up it's basically elimination okay um attractors versus detractors but something is detracting from your energy and these shakeups are happening to initiate you into the energy of change to not be so fixed to be more mutable so that you can lead a life of pleasure like 2022 is lovers energy is gemini energy this year should be about pleasurable things things that feel good to the mind body and soul but you're so wrapped up in in the bullshit no disrespect scorpio but it's a lot of bullshit that you're wrapped up in that you really need to release and surrender and change and let go of so that you can stop wondering where your divine counterpart is and also with this pleasure this deer is by themselves okay so and but the deer is searching for something honestly the deer is searching for pleasure you may see deer in the month of February as well, especially if you're on the East Coast, it's cold, that's when deer come out. Um, but there's pleasure that's coming to the horizon for you, the surface for you. But you really, really, really need to take accountability for your bullshit, Scorpio, and shift some things in your life. Whew. Eight minutes in, you're, yeah, you're in a cycle. And I kept like, I listen, there's a multitude of songs I know, but the song for you, this is the song that never ends and it goes on and on, my friend. And that's what you feel. You have nine of swords energy. This is what you're in. You're in constant mental conflict, constant mental chaos, constant mental affliction about something. And I feel like this is associated with pleasure. Some of you may be wanting to change. Woo, we get deep. Some of you may be wanting to change the type of sexual sexual partner that you have. You may no uh, you may no longer be being pleased by your sexual um, partner. This Eight of Pentacles is trying to focus on what you can control. A lot of you in the Nine of Swords still here, okay? So it's like you're so stressed out. A lot of you like to distract yourselves with work, but work is it's like whatever you distract yourself in. It's not flowing cohesively because you're ignoring something that's trying to be brought to your attention to shift. And it's different for all of you, but it's very deep for all of you. <sighs> Change leads to pleasure is your theme for the month of February. I'll write that down. A lot of you need to write daily affirmations. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of you need to write healthy, positive affirmations. A lot of you self-sabotage with your thoughts, with the way that you talk, with the way that you communicate, with the way that you express yourself. It's okay. Like if you're, I've said this before, like be honest. If you're unhappy, say that, but don't stay in that energy because that's what you're manifesting. That's what you're attracting. Um, it was 10, 10 minutes on the timer when I said that. So yeah, it's time for that shit to end because right now, like it's, you know how shit like, manure stinks like your energy it doesn't doesn't smell too good okay scorpio yeah the chariot reverse cancer energy reverse the opposite of cancer is capricorn so yeah something happened in capricorn season um that it initiated something to, for you to get yourself stuck out get yourself unstuck from to open your eyes so you can see clearly right now i feel like your vision is very very cloudy your intuition is very very cloudy um scorpio there are four weeks of february spirit week one through four for scorpio february 2022 scorpio four weeks february 2022 also some of you may be wanting to commit to a fire sign i'm hearing in the month of february and you're scared of what this change yeah scared to move forward with this change um a lot of you are scared of rejection a lot of you have a cloud of doubt following you that needs to be released week one for scorpio in february spirit scorpio week nine of pentacles reversed week two for scorpio february thank you here we go. Shift in energy. Yeah, I didn't think... I feel like the energy is not staying the way that it's being channeled. Week three for Scorpio in February. Week three, Scorpio, February. Justice. Yeah. And week four for Scorpio in February. This is good energy. Please clarify. Thank you. Please clarify the nine pinnacles reverse. Yeah, decision needs to be made. Decision needs to be made, Scorpio. The ancestors are really wanting to talk to you. Um, I kept looking at the deck when I was shuffling. And I see why they want to talk. It's about this decision and this lack of fulfillment. Okay. For Scorpio, please clarify. You're going to get justice. Whatever you feel like has been unjust, yeah, you're going to be comfortable. You're going to get justice. Please clarify week one for Scorpio. Mm, mm, mm. Shaking my head, shaking my head week one. Scorpio, can I just get one? If I had one wish, you'd be my boo. Promise to love you. Trust me, I'll trust you. A lot of you have one wish. Yeah, something to do with the fire sign. Strength reverse Leo energy. All right. So, one wish. You have one wish in the month of February. All right. So, starting week one, we have two of pentacles reversed. Unwilling to make a decision, not willing to change, not willing to budge. Nine of Pentacles reversed. But look how they're looking at each other. It's like once you decide to change, once you decide to be clear, um, I see the Ace of Swords in my third eye. But once you stop being disconnected with your inner self and your inner inner uh, inner intuition, I was about to say inner wishing, um, but inner intuition, then your crops will no longer wither okay and going back to the energy of diving into the energy of work and that uh being friction as well something needs to start over something needs to do over okay something a decision needs to be made that's going to lead you into this energy of creation this energy of pleasure this energy of change this energy of the ace of wands that's trying to come out for you near the end of february but until then, like you are very, very disconnected with self at the beginning of February, this new moon in Aquarius, I do not recommend um, manifesting, okay? If you watch my Aquarius new moon blessings pick a card, a lot of you probably chose pal three. 
um but if you didn't there's some messages for you in pal three from that pick a card if you just scroll through my videos um but with this energy like you definitely need to there's clarity that's needed and i feel like for the new moon a lot of you need to do a burn ritual that has to do with an unhealthy thoughts unhealthy conscience unhealthy subconscious unhealthy psyche um your mental health is struggling right and it's effect affecting you affecting affecting you um in the physical realm with this torment being reversed father ugh, fathered by the king of cups some father wounds may have come up for you around capricorn season um or in in aquarius season i was about to say in aries season so for some of you this is unfolding um you it's like this pleasure is is coming full circle in aries season which is really the energetic new year but um with week one and the torment and the king of cups like you it's like aren't you tired of suffering and it's like once you're tired of suffering that's when you're able to with this father of water king of cups energy um get back into the the water flows right water flows and you're not flowing so once you become clear and you start flowing in your power then leading to week two which is the king of swords you have more clarity you have more wisdom you have more discernment you're getting back into your throne you're fixing your crown um you are doing away with anything that causes and gives you cloudiness and confusion and hesitation and fear and going into week three with this justice like justice is being served it's like you're giving justice to yourself and because you're giving justice to yourself you're not focused on trying to make something fit it's like you're doing a rubik's cube over and over and over again and you just cannot get it right because you keep there's something that's the same and that is working against you that needs to shift and that goes back to this two of pentacles reverse once you initiate this shift towards the second week of february then you start to see the change unfold then you start to see the cups that are actually overflowing for you and then you're initiating a new beginning as well that is fiery passionate and pleasurable <sighs> okay <laughs> um some of you may be stressed out about legal matters as well in the month of February, not knowing what to do, but you're going to receive uh, clarity for that around the second week of February. Again, this is a collective message. Um, some of you have taxes to pay, but you're worried about how this may affect your income. There's no need to worry about that. Um, I'm getting with this Ace of Wands, this like shaking the tree vibes. Like a tree is going to be shaken for you or something is going to be shaken for you that really ignites this. It'll feel, it'll feel like, remember at the beginning I said free falling energy. It'll be like free flowing energy for you. But there's a spot. I have something on my camera. But there's a spot, right, that you need to get clear on in your life and you know what this is and spirit is saying you need to come out of denial because you know and so i have dealt with this energy with scorpios a lot like they know you have an inner knowing you're very intuitive but you act like you don't know and you really play yourself like that stop playing yourself stop playing your power stop stop downplaying your power because it's an insult to you and it's an insult to your ancestors it's an insult to god oh <sighs> scorpio Hmm. being called to pull from the what you need to surrender to god deck for you i haven't that was quick um i haven't pulled from this deck for any of the other signs but who had this energy forgiveness cancer some cancer full moon i don't know if i said this at the beginning but the cancer full moon could have illuminated some things or, or started a, an unhealthy domino effect you know we always view when it comes to fixed in, fixed energy leo scorpio um aquarius um leo scorpio aquarius and taurus energy and the nodes did move into fixed signs so i feel like we're supposed to be becoming more more mutable right but because we have so much 
so much fixed energy. It's like giving me Babylon is falling. Like Babylon has been this structure that has been held up for so long, but it's no longer sustainable. So it needs to fall. All right. And so with this forgiveness, this says healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So accept the changes, accept what's been um, illuminated to you. Um, accept, you know, the hard truths that you have heard because it's all for your greater benefit is what I hear. But you, you need to be more positive. Like there's a lot of negative energy and I'm, I see the, oh, my ear started ringing when I said that. Um, my right ear, the, this wants to pop out. Um, don't let negativity, there's a, I'm, a, I'm pulling from the, uh, hold on, let me pull from this deck, to see if it comes out. It's like release negativity or something like that. Scorpio, February, 2022. Scorpio, February, 2022. Thank you. Have faith in your dreams. This came out for Leo. And then you have bearing fruit. So going back to the energy that I said, like something needs to be restarted, like something that needs to do over. Like, I feel like you started something that was really from the ego. And with the age of Aquarius, the time of the divine feminine, you can't get by with operating from the ego. Like it doesn't work in this time and the time's coming. And that's the fixed fixed energy that needs to shift for you. But if you continue to have faith with this 12 energy, if you choose to be enlightened, choose to listen to the wisdom, choose to gain a new perspective, the fruit that you desire will bear, okay? The pleasure, look at this, pleasure and bearing fruit. This is beautiful energy. This is not having to worry about anything, but you're worrying about so much that your manifestations are being affected, which is why I said for the new moon in Aquarius, I recommend you not um, manifesting, but really focus on releasing. Um, by the time we get to the full moon in Leo, which is February 16th, the 16th, that's Tower Energy, expect huge changes, change, expect huge shakeups. But this is all happening for us to live a life of pleasure so that we can change from the way of our parents and grandparents and no longer struggle, but really live a life of freedom of heaven on earth, you know? And it's like, don't you want that? I hear you guys saying that. Don't you want that? Don't you desire that? Yeah, some shit needs to be switched up. And I hear new me, who this? That's Yogati. And um, can't think of the other artist, but new money, who this? New car, who this? It's called the switch up. It's Nick Grant and Yogati. Listen to the switch up. That's your theme for February. Um, Scorpio, February. Scorpio, February 2022. Spirit, please. Scorpio. Energy of Scorpio. Thank you. The mountain. I really, I saw the vow in the mountain. For every mountain by Kirk Carr is playing. For every mountain you brought me over. For every trial you see me through. For every blessing, hallelujah. Okay, so with this mountain, you can get through this mountain. You can cross over the mountain. You can make it over the mountain. This is really beneath you, Scorpio. Whatever this is, it's so beneath you, but you're giving it so much life, so much power that you're... Uh, fuck, somebody had this for January 2022 about the fiery furnace. Um, go back through my videos playlist, whatever has the fiery furnace, watch that for January. Um, that's significant for you. But with this mountain, you're able to cross this mountain with the energy of change and forgiveness, with the energy of focusing on what's working, making decisions, being clear tending to your crops, replanting some things, restarting some things, and really taking your time and not trying to rush the journey and stop trying to rush spirit as well. A lot of you have been manifesting over and over and over and you're trying to manipulate energies, but you're, it's backfiring against you because you can't ask for change when you're not willing to change, Scorpio. 
You can't ask for mutable energy if you're focused on, or even cardinal energy and you're focused on being fixed, you know? Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Ooh, we have exposed and revealed. Earth magic was in the reverse. Yes, thank you, Spirit, for clarifying Scorpios. I, and this is the one and New Moon and uh, I was about to say New Moon and Scorpio. New Moon and Aquarius is on the first, okay? And this is a one card. So with this Earth magic being reversed, this isn't the time to manifest. This really is the time to release and pull up some old dead roots um, so that you can plant new roots with this bearing fruit and expose and reveal you are seen okay something is definitely being seen something can no longer be hidden something is is the naked truth for you um in the month of february but this cycle is ending for you for this new beginning upright to be magical and aspiring for you and i hear that's it so scorpio god bless you if you need a friend i'm a friend for you um, if you want to book with me, all of that information is below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. I love you. Watch all of your placements. See you soon. God bless you, baby.